Hello everybody, this is going to be a really cool video related to try merging CPN numbers and how to properly get your CPN number in 401 Experian Equifax and TransUnion. To be honest with you, that's like the, the, the holy grail of being able to set up a CPN and being able to allow your CPN to get credit. It's, it's, CPN's been, you know, CPN's been around for a long time way back into the 60s and things has pretty much been the same from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Then the credit bureau started to change their system and they, they routinely change their systems about at least once to twice a year, major improvements at least once a year. And we just pretty much undergone a major transition of um, as far as how the credit bureaus look at information, process information, and, and in short has been able to pretty much uh, kick out a lot of bad CPNs and make a lot of uh, bad CPNs uh, not work anymore. We're going to actually develop a video related to that su that particular topic or that subject on our next video series, but on this particular series, we're, we're really going to get into tri merge CPNs. If you know how to primer if you know how to tri merge a CPN, then lucky you. Most people don't. Okay, a lot of resellers do not know how to tri merge a CPN. They did not know how to do it. They did not know the process. They did not know what to do. It's a lot of people that are still living off of what I would say yesteryear um, tactics as far as how things used to work. Okay, we used to use the SAN validator or we used to use the post randomization numbers or it used to be a time where you could just pick any number and pretty much it worked as long as you put trade lines on it. Well, in this particular day and age in this environment, that is absolutely not the case. I want to show you guys a couple things that's going to be really interesting. Um, for you guys to see so you know it's like kind of like the old cliche a picture is worth a thousand words and it saved me a lot of talking by showing you guys a lot of pictures now first off when you're looking at the SSN validator the SSN validator as of 2015 is absolutely 110 percent completely worthless I'm going to say that again the SSN validator in this day and age as of right now in 2015 it's absolutely worthless the only thing it's going to give you is uh, this report date the state the approximate date of issuance and this is validated which means that this number is a pretty much a number that goes within the flow of a normal social security number within that period or date range okay that's that's all it's going to tell you so we get rid of that one. now on this one Actually, I saved that one for last because that one is something that the SCM validator can't tell you. This one, same type of situation. It just says a bunch of nothing related to the number, where it's located, blah, 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 and it's validated, which means that it pretty much corresponds to a normal Social Security number in that particular area or geographical range. Get rid of that one. This one, same thing. What does it tell you? Nothing. So you go to the SCM validator, you pop in your number, and say, look, it says validated. Okay, and what else is it telling you? What else is it telling you? It tells you nothing. So again, I'm going to say it three times. In this day and age, the SSN validator is absolutely 110% completely worthless. There's no way that I can use the SSN validator to do anything related to CPNs, period. Nothing. I, haven't, I don't even go to the site anymore. I haven't been there in late, at least three or four years, and I've been doing trade line CPNs for almost 10 years. Now this is one thing that the SSN validator can tell you. It still does have a very accurate death master file attached to their, their numbers and their references. Very good. So you can use that to see if a number is dead. But other than that, the SSN validator is completely worthless. Now, when it comes down to tri merge and the CPN and things of that sort, a lot of people say the biggest thing we say is, can we use mailboxes? Well, you know, we use them, go down to mailboxes, etc. I won't use the UPS store. I won't get the true address of my P.O. box. We might be on 745 Lynnhurst Lane, Suite 711, instead of P.O. box 711, you know, um, 11249. You know, they had to use the exact street address to the post office and the mail is going to go to the post office and you put sweet 7-Eleven and it ends up in a box. A lot of people has got it kind of cool like that and actually try to use that. But this is something I want you guys to see. Now, this is a safe scan report. This cost me about $42 every time we hit. Now, anytime you buy a tri CPN from us, your CPN goes through all these functions so we can see everything. We can see if there's 
the infamous uh, post-randomization numbers. We actually covered that very extensively in a few videos. You can go back and look at the other videos and you will see that post-randomization numbers are not the way to go. Now what you're looking at here is you're looking at real CPN numbers, but these are people that actually really didn't get the message. They really didn't understand that you don't use mailboxes and things of that sort and they weren't able to get credit or getting credit and finding out hey what's going on so we actually started doing some research and a number of people and we really want you guys to get to get the message that hey a first off you want to fully try merge your, your cpm profiles so your trade lines can go to all three bureaus and you have a credit profile location in all three bureaus we do that for you right on our website just purchase a cpn and all that's done but in this particular video let's get into can I use addresses that's not related to my physical street address and this you don't see any cautions okay it's a great number but now this particular situation it says caution possible high-risk address of surgery for this person address or letter service okay this is just so happens to be a mailbox etc so what's happening is this is the only address related to this account. Now I can see if this was they had a primary address and this address, you wouldn't earn a caution. But since she only had this mailbox lettering service, look what they pop on there. Caution, address, letter services, and this is something that a lender sees. They start asking questions. Well, where do you live? And then you just so happen to give this address again. And they say, okay, well, we're getting this. So they know you're lying because they already know what this is. And then they just confirm that you're a liar by making you say it again, not telling you they can already see that this is an address and letter service. Let's get rid of this one. Don't use address and letter services. Now, on this one, different client. Okay, now, on this particular person, he had this for a little while. He's been using the CPM for a long time. Okay, now, him, it's just so because they just had these updates where they they merge these different um, these different profiles. Now in this particular situation they say multiple identities but he's using a junior and not a junior but he's still labeled as a multiple identity which is explainable because he's a junior but it's not on certain locations so on and so forth. But in this particular location they have his employment. He used, he used his employer's address because it wasn't linked to his other profile but just so happened to be a nurse no a nursing or personal care facility which this was the only address related to him which generated this caution. In short, use your home addresses or use a real physical street housing location, an apartment, a house, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, something. Make sure that you, you try merge your profiles, make sure that you get a good CPN and, and follow the steps. Because if you don't follow the steps, you're going to definitely run into bad situations. This particular individual same situation great cpn no problems no cautions nothing perfect he's able to get credit matter of fact he actually got the range rover we say range rover sport so he's doing very good but the only issue is he's coming back with a possible high risk address because it's a hotel a motel he actually owns that okay this is a piece of property that he owns but he lists the address because it wasn't attached to him to a new CPM profile and it's coming back as a hotel or motel. That's a big problem. Okay, on this particular in individual, same situation, it's come back as an elementary or secondary school. How that happened, I don't know. But again, now on this particular individual, you can see this is a real SSN or a real CPN that's attached, has his name, has his phone number, everything attached, nothing is nothing to issue with this, trade lines, high credit score, everything. The only problem is caution, possible high risk address surgery for this person, elementary school or secondary school. So the address that he's using just so happens to be a school and 411 knows that. They turn around and they tell Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. All these guys are in the same bed nowadays. That's why post randomization numbers don't work because it shows up as a caution. I'm going to see if I can pop on a couple here. I don't have them in my roll here but I'm gonna see if I can show you guys a couple of randomization numbers before we get this video over so you can see how they look. Let's get rid of this one because while we're talking that subject I really want to show you. Now on this particular one which is really cool okay this is actually a different person because he was well maybe the same person elementary secondary because might be the same one 
but yeah, or okay, we can get rid of this, this is a duplicate. Now, this particular person, this guy, he has his caution, possible high-risk address emergency for this person. He lives at a psychiatric hospital. Now, how would you like to be a banker looking over somebody's credit card application and come in, and then the first thing that catches your eye is the caution? Because that's what they're doing. They're flagging. You say, well, damn, they flagged my CPN. They flagged it. Boom. So they hit you with the red caution. That is a flag. They're flagging it. And then if you turn out to say you live at a psychiatric hospital, okay, which is how I feel about some of my clients, but I don't necessarily want to go there, you know, right now. But for the most part, that's a major problem. The case in point is make sure that when you're setting up your CPN, make sure that you do get into a primary CPN. Make sure that you set it up and you, you set it up the right way. Make sure that you use a home address. Make sure that when you buy a CPN or somebody sells you a CPN or you get one, set it up the right way. I'm trying to tell you, the days of old days of how CPNs used to work and all that good stuff, it, it, it really doesn't work anymore if you really don't know what you're doing. So you, you have to make sure that you... Um, you make sure that you get a good CPN, make sure you follow the rules. Uh, it's going to be a couple videos I'm going to get into as far as what you want to do next after you get your trimer CPN and after you set it up. Right now, we cover the bases. You must use um, um, a home address. The cool thing is, in this particular um, series, we actually just came up with a new ebook, which is right here, which is the trimerging instructions. We actually had this one guy, he was actually. And, you know, he's kind of cool. I kind of enjoyed the conversation because I like when people kind of, you know, they, they, they call in and say, well, I want to see if I can um, pick your brain and get some information from you and so on and so forth. So this guy, he was he tried to pretty much make me tell him what we do so we can uh, do our trimer gene and set up our CPNs because he was a CPN broker, except he was selling the post randomizations. And we're about to release a video and tell everybody how to generate these post randomizations. Because A, I'm not gonna lie, I want Capital One to see that. I want Capital One to see it, I want Citibank to see it, I want Bank of America to see it, Barclay, all the banks, that way they can see what they're doing, they can see what it looks like, and they can stop it. Because I'm tired of seeing these guys come with these bullshit CPNs, they're affecting our, our trade lines. And if you refuse to pay 80 bucks or 200 bucks for a quality CPN number and you're going to use a CPN number that clearly doesn't work, then I, I, don't, I don't mind seeing you out of the marketplace. I really don't. Because you can utilize a real, true, legal CPN lawfully. They've gone off their way to say CPNs are legal. You can use them legally. You are responsible for any debts you incur. You are responsible for whatever you get into. We don't like people to come and say, we're going to use your services and get some free money and we're not going to pay anything. And, you know, we don't like people that come in as brokers and try to sell individuals knowing that these that those old CPS don't work. Okay, there's a difference between ignorance and stupidity. Ignorance is when you just don't know something. We're all ignorant to something. I don't know. Oh, good God, I don't. I didn't even know that. Okay, I was ignorant. That's not a bad word. But stupidity is when you know something and you refuse to do the right thing, or you refuse to to employ the knowledge that you know. Okay, so there's. I also see a little problem here. Like our script is, is bad, so we need to get the buy, the buy now button on here. But you can actually purchase this ebook right here. It tells everything you need to know on trimerge CPNs, how to process it. it. Tells you guys what you need to know, what you can do it. But at the same time, it protects uh, protects you and protects them, so the industry can't use our information and contort their information to make our information obsolete. The bottom line is, we already know CPNs are legal. Yes, you can use them. Yes, you can get credit cards. We've been doing that for ten years. We we know. This is real. Okay, when you see this, Hi, and then and, the and then you see this lady say, hey, she got a $33,000 credit card. We've matched those, those credit card approvals as well. We know that works. Okay, but for the most part, again, this is going to be our tri-merging, uh, our 4-1 aspect of our video series. We're going to release another one 
We hope this works for, for the people at home to say, that's a nice video, but I care less. I want my CPN done right. You can go right to button number two, scroll down to the gold uh, CPN combo package, make your purchase. You'll get your CPN back fully tri merged with, with post sale instruction within two days. And if you have any questions, you can always give us a call. Thank you for listening. This is Jason, Legal CPN. Talk to you later.